We are delighted that the festival is here this year. And we're delighted with the festival last year and it's even better this year. And the turnout was great. Everybody looked happy. Everybody was smiling. And the dealers I talked with were thrilled with their sales and with the turnout. And I think it's wonderful. Oh, it's just made us very happy. It's just, it's exhilarating to us to see the campground and see the property being used in such a wonderful manner that it enriches the community, it enriches people who attend, and we're thrilled and we hope it will, it will be here next year. Well, the, the, the Hickory Museum started its path into contemporary Southern folk art when they acquired 153 pieces from our collection in 2004. And the museum has built a strong program around that uh, collection. My husband and I have collected since the late 70s. We've always loved it. It was at a time when the only way to acquire folk art was to go visit the people who were making it. So we, we traveled all over the South and uh, visit them. Essentially what we did was take home a souvenir from that visit. We were there at a really fortunate time. A lot of the artists were working without much validation of their work. And I think that's important to most all artists, folk or otherwise. And what sure sign of validation is if somebody will come and pay you money for it. The artists were the most incredible people. I mean, you could see the absolute creative experience happening to people who you would not expect to be creative. They were using materials that were at hand. They had no art training, so the work that they were producing had a certain liveliness and freshness because they really were following their own rules and not anyone else's rules. We still love it. Still, uh, part of our agreement with the museum was that they would emphasize education because we really believe that children are the way to go because they understand the folk art. And if you get that basic understanding, then they'll keep coming back and back to museums, support the museums, hopefully throughout their lifetime in their communities. And we need desperately to have places where people can go and see something original. We live in a mass-produced world. If you think about it, the only places you can find something that's original, innovative, creative, is through art. It's the only place to go, and people need to experience originality. And the Lake Norman Folk Art Festival is a good example of that. Um, we're thrilled. And I agree with everything that Karen said. And the, the festival group has enriched the property so much. They've done so much work and it's gratifying. It just makes us happy. We ride through every day to check on the place. We check on the chicken. <laughs> <laughs>